is the reason that we suffer, is what you were saying actually, I was going to ask, does God suffer? And you said, yes, because he loves. We all love, God loves, Christ loved us kind of thing. The most suffering that most of us get, I'd like C.S. Lewis, is when a loved one dies. He wrote that book, as you say, emotionally, when his wife dies, died. So uh, the question is, if we didn't love, would we not suffer? I'll begin to answer this, but then you'll get no. a better answer in a moment. Um, I mean, if you love someone and they suffer, you're going to suffer too. I mean, I mean you know, that, that is what love does. Love connects you with the pain and the anguish they're going through. And um, God loves us. I mean, it's one of those central biblical motifs that love, not in a sort of syrupy way, but actually this deep quality of love, which, which means God hurts when we hurt. I mean, it, it's a very moving thing. I remember when I was a curate many, many years ago, I was young once, and in those days, I remember going to visit an old lady, and I knew she had no children. And there was a picture of a young boy in school uniform on her sideboard. And I asked her to tell me about this, and it was her son who died of some ghastly disease when he was about six or seven. And she told me about this, and then she said, do you know what? Help me cope with that. And he said that the rector came round, and he held my hand, and he said, do you read Tennyson? Now, I mean, and then he said, in effect, uh, you know, he just quoted a bit of Tennyson, and the point of this line or two from Tennyson was simply that um, if, you don't lo- if you don't love, you don't get hurt. Anyway, uh, but who wants to do that? Actually, the price of loving is that pain. And, and she just thought that is so right. And actually, it, it helped her cope with her son's loss. The reason I feel this pain so much is because I love him so much. And if I didn't love him, it wouldn't matter. And therefore, but I do love him. And so there was a correlation between love and the pain experience. But she also made a transference, a kind of intellectual link with her thinking about God as well. So there's a lot in, in the kind of views you're, you're, you're putting before us tonight. And a lot more needs to be said, which is my cue for... Well, no, I simply <laughs> affirm what you, 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 you said. Uh, and uh, we have to face uh, the fact uh, that sometimes when somebody's lost somebody they love greatly, like mm. the, what you mentioned, uh, it's with them for the whole of their life. Uh, and there's no comfort, no obvious consolation. I've actually got to do... Uh, thought for the day tomorrow morning, which is the 50th anniversary of Abba Van. Mm -hmm. And I'm quoting that phrase in St. Matthew's Gospel about in Rama, there was weeping and mourning, Rachel weeping for her children who would not be comforted because they were not. I think we just have to face that that, that there is that, that that is part of the dereliction and and, 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 and the darkness. and it's very important for us, you know, who, who are pastors, to recognise that there is a time where actually words are not appropriate. You've just got to keep silence at that, at that point. 